Hello, I'm Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. I'm here at the AES show in New York. I'm with Andy Munitz from Sony. Now, it's quite a big event at the AES here in New York for Sony because it's the first new Sony studio microphones for, I believe, about 25 years. Is that correct? Uh, you're correct. It's a, it's a big show for us and it's a very important show for us. Fantastic. So. These are, there are three new models in the range and they're billed as high-res microphones. What's, Correct. What's that all about? Well, what it's really about is uh, three years ago, Sony launched a very high uh, corporate initiative to promote the benefits of high-res sound. That music, when captured and delivered in high-res, can uh, transmit emotion much more efficiently, much more fully between humans. And it's important, though, in high-res, that every piece in the chain be high-res capable. If you go to all the trouble of capturing it and you listen back on a pair of bad you know, uh, earbuds, you've lost it. So we've had certainly high-res recording formats, we've had high-res amplifiers, transducers, even our headphones go from 5 hertz to 80K. However, the very front of any recording chain, be it audio or video, is the most important step. You don't capture it at the very front of the chain, you don't get it. So we have spent the last three years developing the capture end of it, high resolution microphones, which have been kind of lacking a bit in, the, in that concept. So we have three new microphones. We have the C100, and we're, we're doing a launch here at the AES show, and two additional pencil mics. What's kind of interesting about this is, first of all, it was made in a, a, a strong collaboration with Sony Music. So our microphone designers and Sony Music had a continuing relationship, constantly tweaking, constantly going back, doing that relationship and making it as excellent sounding as we possibly could. On a design point of view, we've had a very successful business with our C800 G2 microphones and we are employing even some of the anti-vibration design of that C800G into this new C100 design microphone. But what's unique, and I don't know that you can actually see it, well, you know, is that it's a dual capsule design in the side address. So we have a 25 millimeter diaphragm, which covers 20 hertz up to 25K, and then we have a 17 millimeter capsule, which covers 25K up to 50K. So you have, it actually has a separate capsule purely to capture the ultrasonic component of the sound? In a sense, yes, but we wanted to be able to capture everything, for example, in a, in a voice. You need to capture the traditional range, but you also need to be able to capture all of the overtones and things like that. So again, double diaphragm design, where the 25 millimeter larger diaphragm covers 20 hertz up to 25K, and the smaller 17 millimeter capsule covers 25K up to 50K. In our pencil microphones, we employ just the 17 millimeter capsule, but we run it in full range from 20 to 50K, 20 hertz to 50K. And there's both a, uh, an Omni design and a cardioid pencil design. Fantastic, and they're obviously very compact. Are you seeing these as- uh, They are. Sort of tools for orchestral stages and absolutely, stuff like that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, uh, instrument recording as well, although, you know, I love this microphone, multi-pattern for, for very critical instrument recording as, as well. And are they transformerless designs? Yes. Wonderful. And uh, when will they be available to buy? We are doing a soft launch here at the AES show, and we'll be doing a more significant launch at the uh, Winter NAM in Anaheim, California, where we'll have more information and availability, hopefully, closer to that date. Early 2018 is what we're shooting for. Cool, and uh, do you know what the price points are going to be on this uh, We, of course, can't announce, but it will be reasonable, and we want to sell lots of these microphones, so it will not be the price of a C800G, even though we can't build enough of those. We, we just are on constant back order, which is a lovely thing. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Andy. That's My pleasure. Really thank you, Sam. All right. Pleasure.